Barley yields in 1931 and 1932 as a small multiples of dot plots. Okay, so this is our root node, and it tells me a, a small alt text of what the scatter plot is all about. And it also tells me that I have multiple uh, sub charts in this uh, plot. So I'm going to use the down arrow key to go one level down in the tree structure. One of six dot plot with title Grand Rapids. So this tells me that I'm on one of six uh, subplots. And if I go laterally to the right, then I can see two of six dot plot with title Duluth. Some of the other subplots. Three of six dot plot with title University Farm. I'm curious about two, the one first six, one. Dot plot with title Grand Rapids. So here we are. Now again, pressing down arrow, I go one level deeper in the in the tree. Y axis titled variety for a discrete scale with ten values starting with Trevi and ending with Fansoda, Grand Rapids. Okay, so we hear that this is the y axis with the um, scale and and the the range of the different values on the y axis. X axis titled median yield for a linear scale with values from ten to seventy, Grand Rapids. Okay, here what happened? I pressed the right arrow just to move uh, to the right in the in the data tree. So x-axis would be, so to speak, next to the y-axis in the in the tree. And again, we heard a similar information, identifying the axes, what the um, range is, what the intervals are. Legend titled year for color with two values, 1931, 1932, Grand Rapids. Grid view of dot plot, Grand Rapids. But let's just go back to our x-axis, for example. Legend titled year, x-axis titled median yield for a linear scale with values from 10 to 70, Grand Rapids. OK, so this is the median yield of barley yields, and um, we'll have some values in here. So I'm pressing the down arrow to go into the fourth level in the tree. Range 10, 20, six data values in the interval, Grand Rapids. Okay, so it tells me that the range here for this interval is between 10 and 20, and I have six data values in it. Range 20, 30, nine data values in the interval, Grand Rapids. Range 30, 40, five data values in the interval, Grand Range 40, 50, zero data value. Range 50, 60, zero data values in the interval, Grand Rapids. And we hear that, for example, in the 50, 60 um, interval, we have zero data values. And this was me just navigating um, on the data structure itself with the arrow keys left and right. Range, range, so range, range 10, 20, six data values in the interval, Grand 20, Rapids. The six data values. I'm going to press down arrow to go to what I believe is the fifth level of the data tree. One of six, median yield, 14.4, variety, Gladron, year, 1932, site, Grand Rapids. Yes, and we hear that the, you know, the mean yield is 14.4. Two of six, median yield, 15.2, variety, number 475, year, 1932, site, Grand Rapids. Three of six, median yield, 16.6, .6, variety, Svansoda, year, 1932, site, Grand Rapids. We hear all the information associated with this data point. So the index, the actual value, the, um, the value on the y-axis, the year it belongs to, so the two categories from the legend, and which of the uh, subplot it belongs to. So what I'm going to do now is actually staying in this level, on, on level five of the data tree, and press shift right, which is going to navigate um, laterally, still within, let's say, our structure navigation. But instead of locally uh, on, on the data points, we'll move to a completely different subchart out of the six uh, subcharts we have in this plot. So pressing shift right. OK, so we hear that we changed the Louvre uh, subplot. Let's just try again. So for example, if I want to stay in the same position, but see another subchart. So that concludes really the demonstration of multi-view. And now let's have a look at the prototype, which is going to demonstrate how targeted navigation is working. So here I'm going to enter the uh, scatterplot. 
a scattered plot showing body mass and flipper lengths of penguins. Clickable. Let me hear that again. The root node is um, telling me a brief alt, static alt description of what the chart is going to represent. A scattered plot showing body mass and flipper lengths of penguins. Group. Y axis titled body mass G for linear scale with values from 2500 to 6500. Now, again, as demonstrated before with the multi view uh, prototype, we have this underlying uh, structural and, and uh, spatial navigation built in. So I can navigate the tree up and down the, the various levels of the tree. X axis titled flipper length MM for linear scale with values from 170 to 240. But I can also uh, navigate. Spatially, as legend titled "Species for Color Different Values." Adelie, Gen Strap, Gen Grid View of Scatter Plot. So we are in the grid view. I'm going to navigate the tree one level down. Zero data values in the interval. Body mass G six thousand six thousand five hundred. Flipper length MM one hundred seventy one hundred eighty. Now I'm going to start navigating spatially. Zero data values in the zero data values in four data values in the thirty two data values in the interval. Body mass G four thousand five thousand. Flipper length MM one hundred ninety two hundred. So I performed a series of down and right uh, navigations spatially because I knew that most of the data will be central on this scatter plot. That's where the density is uh, is greater. Now I'm going to navigate down in the structure. One of thirty-two flipper length mm one hundred ninety body mass g four thousand two hundred fifty species Adelie. And here I have uh, the thirty-two data values which I can read off. Now here, what I can do is um, call a feature or kind of this prototype, which will give me uh, a, a list of menu options to target um, a certain item. So let's go ahead. Open navigation menu. Use drop downs to navigate. OK, so I pressed R on the keyboard to bring up this menu. And we heard a helpful hint. Layer one. So we grid view uh, of scatter plot. Layer one. Pop up button. Okay. Layer one, and we are on the grid view at the moment. Layer two. Thirty-two data values in the interval. Body mass G four thousand five thousand. Flipper length mm one hundred ninety two hundred. Layer two. Pop up button. So we have a second uh, pop up menu for layer two. Layer three. Layer three. One of 32. Flipper length, MM, 190. Body mass, G, 4,250. Species, Adelie. Layer three. Pop up button. And this is layer three or level three in the, in the tree structure. Ender. A scatter plot showing body mass and flipper lengths of penguins. Layer, layer two. Let's just. Grid view of scatter plot. Layer one. Pop up button. Instead of grid view, I want to choose. Menu four items tick. Grid X axis titled flipper length, the MM, for linear scale with values from 170 to 240. For the flipper length. X axis titled flipper la layer two range 200, 210, 38 data values in the interval layer two pop up button. And after I've chosen the x axis on, on layer one, now in layer two I can uh, choose or you know have a, a drop down menu with all the values within that list. So let's just go ahead and do this. Menu seven items tick R range 220, 230, 35 data values in the interval. Let's try this one. Range 220, layer 3, 1 of 35, flipper length, menu 35 items tick. One. If I, for example, want to choose the 10th item out of the 35 values, Two, th four, th six, 8, 9 of 35, 10 of 35, flipper length, MM 221, body mass G 5300, species Gen 2. Then I quickly just kind of scroll down in the, in the list of, of options in this um, menu. Uh, by the index, and I received um, all the information about the flipper length and the the body mass of these penguins. So that is how the targeted navigation uh, serves me on top of all the other features built in to, to the prototypes.